Hello everyone, this is Dan here from ShirtBT. This video is about me receiving my new trailer and being able to just test it out briefly on the pond. It's part one of part two. It's a brand new shirt bend there that Mark from Sherp USA was delivering to another customer. Fantastic mechanic. He's helped me through a number of different issues and just overall a great guy. Those yellow orange straps that are on the back of that trailer there, um, he just suggested to put those on there when you are traveling because the Sherp uh, top part does move up and down um, during transport. So we just put that trailer on my Sherp. There he's showing me how you air up the tires. I'll go into more detail about that on another video. Just showing me the little intricacies. That's how you take the back off. You remove those four little clamps and it pops right all off. It's a completely redesigned from what you had before. But we got her all strapped down. Got her stationed in the right place to try to distribute the weight correctly. And now we are out at the pond. So there's what it looks like out there on scene. And no, I did not take that orange strap off because I was too lazy to do so. And I just didn't feel like putting on it again when I left. So you've seen this little spot here in other videos. You notice here the front wheel does come off the ground. And there's some pretty decent angles that you have there, and it seems like that hitch does fairly well in those, that particular situation. One thing I have discovered, if I was the first time I took the Sherp off the trailer, if you do have that back window open and there's a significant angle there, I think it might actually hit that trailer, so you need to be careful. Here's one of those big rocks that my uncle put there years ago that we were driving over. That rock there is about, oh heck, I'd say two and a half feet off the ground, somewhere around there. And here we go entering the water. The pond was fairly low, so I could only find a couple of spots where I couldn't actually hit the bottom. So it really didn't give me a good indication on how well the shirt pulls the trailer when it is in the water floating. But there definitely is more resistance. Here we're coming up to that rock again that we drove over a second ago. It's a little bit more dramatic at this angle. And now you get to see me driving out in the pond. I'm um, actually coming up to another obstacle here. My uncle years ago put some rocks out on the ice and let them drop down with the hopes that the bullheads would congregate in that area. Eh, it might have helped out a little bit, but honestly, it's more of a pain than it is a, a help. Again, I'm very curious on how well that's going to be reacting when I'm out in the river. So here we get a little bit of drone footage seeing me driving around out in the pond again going over those little particular rocks that we had. And she did just fine pulling it over that, hardly any issue at all. Again you can definitely tell that trailer is behind the Sherp, you can really feel it. It's going to be interesting to see what happens when I am in current. But that's not going to be included in this video. That's going to come for another one. I do have another video that's going to be attached to this one that is going to show some details about the trailer. So watch for that coming out here real soon. Here I am about 800 speed using the drone. Get to see a little bit of the footage. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon.